Hello, Brickman here, and today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth analysis of the LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga recently released gameplay trailer. Yes, I'm going to look very, very closely at every single detail. I would have made this video earlier, but uh, unfortunately I was completely unable to record, but now I can record, so that's what we're going to do. All right, let's look at it. First, we have our rating information, of course. Then, first shot straight out of Phantom Menace, right before they face off with Darth Maul. We get a good look at a new Padme variant. We've never even seen that minifigure before, so she looks pretty cool. And you have Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon, of course, and there's another look at Darth Maul. We've kind of seen a few different shots of this before, but this is a new shot. He's igniting his lightsaber. How cool. And then we move on, and look, we get to see him fighting Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. Of course, that's going to be an epic boss battle. Look forward to that, and lots of, lots of choreography going on there yeah yeah and then uh if we go continue on we have qui-gon's death scene uh clearly doesn't have like a freaking lightsaber hole through him so i can't wait to see how they comically show him dying and as they always have to make it a joke instead of brutal murder but yeah then we also see anakin young anakin holding his teddy bear and i believe this is in wado's shop or at least some place in tatooine and then we move on we have a close as <laughs> this freaking angle that obi-wan is just which is great, right? Okay. This is in episode three. We haven't seen this scene at all yet. This is, of course, when they rescue Chancellor Palpatine in General Grievous's ship. And we have a new episode three look at Obi-Wan and Anakin. They look great. And then the next shot is, of course, the big fight that takes place in this area. And, you know, let me just say, I think you could really tell how hard they're trying in this game. And this is why it's probably taking until 2022 to get this game finished. But look at how how brick built the environment is especially compared to the complete saga okay there's a there's a lot more studding and brick built stuff just way more way more than previous lego games so i just love that like this is all built in lego most of the area and their surroundings and it's all just stuff you could destroy like even the friggin' floor is lego built and then look we have the musafar duel another look at this we've seen it a little bit before and yeah obi-wan versus anakin we'll see how that actually plays out will you be able to play the second player hopefully like you know fight the second player like you did in the complete saga yeah okay then <laughs> very funny scene I, I like this gag really hypes you up for all the types of gags that they're gonna put into this especially with original voice acting we have plenty of opportunities but yeah there's a funny little picture of obi-wan and cody and all the other clones it looks like straight out of episode two this is all in obi-wan's home in tatooine of course a cut scene there's luke obi-wan c-3po and a box of junk next shot is going to take place in hoth right there with luke getting into his x-wing this is like right after the battle of hoth and then you see he leaves obviously he goes to dagobah next as the events go here's a much less lego built environment but i mean what can you say it's dagobah this is probably in a level and of course you have him training with yoda and yes yoda can be on the back of luke so that's all fun and whatnot and you have one of those things it's a common thing in lego games when like you jump from thing to thing like he's doing there and then we look at cloud city in the next this next shot we finally get to see luke actually fighting darth vader we haven't seen that yet except for the cutscene part before the actual fight begins this looks like a real nice setting real nice lighting of course they had to get that right and they did plenty of studs around you can see typical lego game stuff okay this shot is exegol in uh in episode nine probably the last level of the game and of course we just have finn shooting and you can see that you can actually shoot down the barricades that uh are protecting the stormtroopers just a little little addition that we have to their blaster fights that they have which i think in general is kind of similar to the mechanic that was in the force awakens but here's just you know a more modern look at that and now we have episode eight on crate we have a new look at let luke skywalker we've never seen that before he doesn't even exist as a minifigure either and yeah he just looks great like this is definitely how mark hamill looks in episode eight at the end of the movie when he arrives on crate then there's also another new look at Kylo Ren. That's an awesome shot. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. And of course, he's doing his whole speech from Last Jedi. Here's Rey on Acto Island doing some of her training. Very nice shot, of course, with the background and all. Doing the fight. And then we have another Episode Eight shot. This one is Snoke's throne room, but the actual fight. Now we could uh, look around this environment. Nice setting. Of course, they get it down right. If you look at the throne, there's no Snoke. Snoke's dead body would, of course, be there as it was in the movie, but... Uh, you know, again, who knows? They might do some type of funny gag about him dying, and his body's not just gonna lay there while you fight the Praetorian Guard, so that's a good note to have. But yeah, this this should definitely be a fun action scene to play through. Here's the Battle of Endor. You, uh, very cool combo move, it looks like we have Wicket doing here. Uh, he could apparently do a back... Is that a backflip? Yo, wait, yeah, wait. It actually... Okay, so he backflips, jumps off the head of the Stormtrooper, and then lands. That is... 
does a, does a superhero landing too. That is so badass from Wicket. There's also a bunch of pieces around you. You could you could build something. Just a little little look at how that level might be. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, next shot is a brand new thing that we have not been able to play through before in the complete saga, other than the sequel trilogy stuff that we are obviously uh, passed through as well. But no, this is nice because it's Obi Wan chasing down Jango Fett in the asteroid field out of Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Never got to see this in the complete saga. Now you could already see some of the new scenes that they're adding in in addition to make the complete saga uh, episodes one through six feel much more different from the original video game so yeah and you're flying through a tunnel there and you have those little bombs that go off exactly as they do in that scene it's really nice okay then we have the battle of geonosis we saw it before from anakin's perspective now this shot throws it from mace windu's perspective this is the the, the jango fett boss battle that we're probably going to get so you could see him fighting jango fett and there's also a good look at like kit fisto and all the other battle droids and super battle droids all around the very extensive area. I think that's also Obi-Wan in the background. Yeah. Okay, next shot. It's the Tantive Four. We have Princess Leia shooting down some stormtroopers. And so, yeah, that looks like it will probably be kind of similar to the Secret Plans level from Complete Saga. That's honestly fine. You know, the Tantive Four still, nonetheless, looks very nice. Very Lego brick-built like. And then the next shot is Luke talking to Rey on Octo Island again. Just another look at that. This is a cut scene. And you have a funny gag with Chewbacca. Very cool, very cool. Also, that's a new Luke Skywalker variant as well. It's just a good note to have. All right, explore the galaxy. Yes, this is important. So, of course, we have here Luke is going from Dagobah with the X-Wing, and then he opens up his map. Now the map shows every location that we have. Uh, I think uh, I'll probably return to this shot, actually. It would be easier just to do that. But nonetheless, he takes his X-Wing over to Tatooine. He lands it very cool you could see landing your own ship probably this is definitely in free roam you just land it in the spaceport of moss espa and yeah you could ride your freaking do back around getting shot by stormtroopers like that just looks like super elaborate and fun free roam right there that i'm sure this game is going to nail and <laughs> if you watch my chronological order video where i just sorted out the gameplay you could say that this takes place before episode six return of the jedi because of what luke is wearing and how he flies his x-wing from Dagobah to here, probably after some training or something. It would it would work in that timeline. <laughs> Maybe it's the free run that takes place before the first level of Return of the Jedi. Who knows? Okay, but then the next shot is a good way of showing off that you could play as any character in any location, because Lando is, of course, from the original trilogy, and here he is in a prequel trilogy planet. This is Kashyyyk, okay. Nice look at that planet. They, uh, they've been showing off this planet a good amount, though. But yeah, it's a nice beach. You got the Wookiee and you got their homes. Okay, then this is a, an interesting shot. You have Rey flying through uh, Jakku. So here's a nice look at the Jakku free room, okay. You have an X-Wing, like, crashed in the sand there. Other details. In the back is actually this is a pretty important detail, because that is Kanan Speeder, according to the Lego set that was released a few years, years ago. But yeah, that's from Star Wars Rebels, in other words. So this might be some sort of confirmation that we're going to get Rebels content in the main game, probably. I mean, they usually wouldn't advertise DLC content casually with the main game, unless they call it DLC content. So, assuming that is actually part of the main game, then we might actually get the Rebels characters in the main game, because you can't have Kanan Speeder without Kanan, so there you go. Interesting detail. Also interesting detail, Rey has a uh, jetpack. Yeah, that's something we've never seen in the movies, but I guess she might have a gliding ability, because that is what she's doing. Maybe some sort of uh, specifically scavenger variant of her that can do that. I guess so, why not? Also, a really nice look at the Jakku village in the background there. This is honestly already looking better than what it was in the Force Awakens video game, so <laughs> that, that really says something, doesn't it? All right, then we have another look at Kashyyyk. This time we have C-3PO riding uh, that vehicle, yeah. They really, they really like show that... They like to show that C-3PO could ride things. They had him riding, what, like a, a Bantha in the last trailer? Now he's riding this on Kashyyyk. Yeah, C-3PO very very good at riding things thank you for showing us that tt games uh also there's look that that little wookie vehicle flying in the background i can't tell you the specific names but yeah probably also flyable vehicle here's a good look at the endor moon planet yeah with jaina or Jana. oh my god i really like this shot because you uh, could really see the shaping of the crashed second death star even better than you could in the rise of skywalker so you know you just have that as the complete backdrop of this really otherwise nice setting so yeah it's it's a pretty cool shot right there and it says play the entire saga and then we have another new level that has been revealed part of uh, episode three Re revenge of the sith 
we have Yoda fighting Palpatine. Of course, this is also another thing that did not make the cut in the complete saga, so great to see it make it into the Skywalker saga. You can also see he's holding his lightning and stuff. That's probably going to be part of the boss battle. Some interesting stuff that we also never even got in the mechanics of the complete saga. So yeah, you can see that they're really upgrading things for sure here. But yeah, nonetheless, that shot looks pretty nice as well. Here's a shot on Hoth, probably free roam, like maybe before the first level of Empire Strikes Back. We have Han Solo riding a Tauntaun. Of course, he does that for quite a bit of screen time in the beginning of Empire Strikes Back. No, but this this uh, environment looks really nice. You can see what they do to the camera effect. They have it like frost around the edges. Lego games like to do that kind of often. And nonetheless, you can see some other gameplay things like you probably slide down that rope at some point and whatever is in the far background there. But yeah, moving right along. Here is a, another look at episode eight. This is after the whole supremacy ship blows up and uh, oh, and you have the Captain Phasma boss battle probably going to be a thing. But yeah, you have Finn shooting down the TIE Fighters. This obviously doesn't really directly happen in the movie, but I'm sure they'll work it into the levels somehow. Yes, this is definitely level gameplay. You can see all those green targets too. I think, uh, yeah, it's really a whole thing to shoot down all those First Order TIE Fighters. Why not? But yeah, there's also Finn in his Imperial disguise. All right, moving right along. Here's a shot outside of Hoth again. You can see the Hoth planet in the background. We've gotten a look at this same event before as well. There's the Millennium Falcon flying, fighting all the Imperial Star Destroyers. So this is theoretically right after the Battle of Hoth level. Maybe it's free roam, maybe it's part of level, but they actually do say that, yes, you can do this type of stuff in the free roam, so I wouldn't see why it would not be free roam. This is probably just free roam after the Battle of Hoth level. So, yeah, there you go. Right after that, we go back to the Phantom Menace. We have Qui-Gon fighting the battle droids. This is, of course, in the Naboo Palace, probably while he's rescuing Queen Amidala. Nice look at that. We haven't seen anything like this before so far for this game, but it also is very similar to the complete saga. So, you know, cool nonetheless. So, and then here we go into Return of the Jedi again. We have Chewbacca shooting at uh, Boba Fett. And this is right in Tatooine, probably either the first or the second level in the Return of the Jedi campaign. And you could see a real nice, real large desert skiff in the background there. So yeah, that's all gonna be fun level gameplay. And then we go over here. This is episode two, Attack of the Clones. You have Obi-Wan when he's fighting Jango Fett on Kamino. And really nice look at that uh, Slave One for Jango Fett. It's actually just a reskin or recoloring of the uh, 2019 or 2020, no, I think it's 2019 20th anniversary Slave One from Boba Fett. Now it's just recolored for Jango Fett. Getting a Lego set like that would honestly be cool enough because we haven't gotten a Jango Fett slave one, but that's a, that's a different topic. Nonetheless, it looks great in this game. I'm sure Kamino will look great. This shot is pretty cool. Okay, we haven't seen anything from that level yet, so as you can see, it's going to be fun. Here's a look at Taco Dono, which I do believe that this is free roam because you could see two X-Wings in the background, so if you're just freely free roaming, you could park whatever vehicle you want over in the background. Obviously, part of The Force Awakens, nobody flies their Rebellion X-Wings into this planet. <laughs> you know, it would be the Resistance. So, yeah, this is free roam, and you could see Taco Dono is now a confirmed free roaming planet. And there's Ma Maz's castle, all right? Not very brick built. I guess uh, probably the hub worlds are much less brick built than the actual levels, which that would make sense. They put real life things in the hub worlds, but then in the levels most of the they try to build the environments out of lego bricks which that that's fair enough i guess but yeah you could also see a brick there <laughs> that's some type of collectible that we're going to have in the game i don't know if that's like their their kyber crystal things that they said that you could collect because it, it's more of a brick rather than a crystal but <laughs> i can't tell you exactly what that is but it's cool nonetheless and you can see there's just ton of stuff you could do around Ma maz's castle <laughs> Okay, so cool free roam right there. Cool hub world. Then we have this look at Qui-Gon's sub. I don't know why I called it Qui-Gon. It's the, uh, the Gungan submarine. And this is probably going to be, I think a while ago, a long time ago, they said that this would be like the first level of the game. It would include this section. So now we actually get a look at it. This is, of course, while they're escaping the big giant sea monsters <laughs> with Jar Jar and they're actually approaching Na the uh, Naboo Palace. This is right before that other shot before. This looks like it'll be a fun segment. Of course, something we have not gotten to play before because the Complete Saga also skipped over this scene. So yeah, that's interesting. There's like some bubble following around the whole time. I don't really know what's going on there. Looks like there are studs in that, that big bubble that's like right to the right of that sea monster. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
that's that's just weird. There are a bunch of studs. Maybe you have to try to collect that somehow. Maybe it's a minikin in it too. I don't know. But yeah, you blow that thing up. Okay, then we have a shot out of episode nine. I believe this is just a cutscene. Yes, you have Kylo Ren flying his tie dagger into Rey while she jumps up and slices it, but it cuts to black right before she does that. And then Bada bing, bada boom, there's Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, spring 2022, and we have Yoda talking to Luke on Dagobah in episode 5, right before Luke just dips on Yoda and tries to go to Cloud City to rescue everyone else, so funny little gag right there, uh, yeah, and then Force Ghost Obi-Wan, I, I wonder if we'll be able to play through as the Force Ghost variants of characters like we did in Complete Saga, I would hope so, so this is probably the biggest letdown moment of the entire, tra- entire trailer for a lot of people, yes, it says spring 2022, okay, if you didn't know, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been delayed many months ago, the release date was going to be spring 2021. So yeah, it's about a whole nother year delayed. It's original, original release date was in 2020. So yeah, that's like a full two years by now, but that, that's fine. Obviously they have a lot, a lot, a lot to work on in this game and they're trying to perfect it as much as possible. Now, if we actually look at this one screenshot I picked up of all the hub worlds, we could go through all the co- very, very officially confirmed now hub worlds in the game. As you can see, Luke, you could apparently just pull out anytime this one little uh, device that can allow you to travel to any planet, although you probably can do it by foot as well. That's what they supposedly said you could do. Like you just hop onto a ship and manually fly through space to a planet yourself. But it is also super convenient to just go on this menu and select whatever planet you just want to teleport to if you don't have the time to do otherwise. So there you go. There's a lot going on here. There's Acto, okay. There's Kef Burr. There's Endor, Bespin, Hoth, Crate, Dagobah, Utapau, Naboo, Daquar, Basana, Geonosis, Tatooine, Kamino, Kashyyyk, Kajimi, Yavin 4, Kantanaka, Kantanika, Kata, yeah, that one, and Al- Ajin Jalas. Okay, it gets a little pixelated up there. But yeah, we are. We still have five that are kept a mystery, and you also probably, I guess that also shows that you need to unlock planets as you play the campaign, probably. Yeah, that's definitely most likely a thing. But yeah, and also it's just keeping a little mystery, a little fun for all of us speculators. So what could the five other planets possibly be? Well, one thing that's notably missing, I'd say Mustafar. It's it's really hard to say what the other ones might be. So I'd love to hear your own speculating down in the comments below because I cannot tell you for sure because, you know, these are the only ones that are officially, officially confirmed considering they're actually shown in the screenshot. But yeah, that's essentially it. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for lots more videos coming real soon very long video. I wanted to cover the entire, entire trailer. So there you go. Very, very much detailed video. All right. Probably sick of my voice as I am right now too. Goodbye.